Hi guys, today we will make this cute isometric scene. Let's start. Select the cube and go to edit mode from the top or press tab. Click on face selection or press 3 to go to face selection. Then press shift and select front three faces. Then press X and click on faces to delete those faces. After that, go back to object mode or press tab. Then press G to grab and press Z to move it on Z axis. Then resize it on X, Y, Z axis. Then select the room and go to modifiers tab and add solidify modifier on it. Then select the room and go to modifiers tab and add solidify modifier on it. After that, increase the thickness of the wall to 0.134. As you can see, the line of the wall is bending in corners. To set this, check the even thickness box. Then from top right corner, click on that icon and then click on apply to apply solidify modifier. After that, to smooth the edges of the wall, we will add subdivision modifier on it. Then increase the level of viewport to 2. Then we will add bevel modifier on it. After that, drag the bevel modifier window on the top of subdivision modifier. Then it will work. Then increase the segment value to 2. Then go to edit mode or press tab. Then in edit mode, press it to select all faces and drag the window out from top right corner. Then in item section under the transform window, increase the main bevel weight to 1. Then go back to object mode or press tab. Then to fix this corner problem, change the limit method from angle to weight. Then to fix the roundness of the wall, click on profile and increase the value of shape to 1. After that, right click on the room and click on shade, smooth. After that we will set the camera. Drag the window out from top, click on the view icon and check the look camera to view box. Then click on camera icon and set the camera. After that, select the camera and then click on camera option down there and change the type to orthographic. Then click on output option and change resolution to 1080 by 1080 pixels. Then by pressing shift and middle mouse button you can move and set view accordingly. Then select the camera and go again to camera section and change the value to 6.124. Then click on camera icon Agian to move out from camera view. Move the cursor corner top left corner and drag the new window to set the camera view there. Uncheck all boxes and go to render view to get the nice view. Then we will start adding table. Then press shift right click to move 3D cursor there. Then press shift pluser and add the cube. Then click on negative Y axis to go side view. Then press S to scale it down. Or you can do it manually by selecting scale option. Press G to grab it to move it up a bit and then press S. Then Z to scale it down on Z axis. You can do it manually by selecting the option on left. It will be easy. 
Then press G, then X to move it back on X axis. Then click on Z axis to go to top view, then press S, then Y to scale it on Y axis. Press S then X to scale it on X axis and move out on X axis. Then click on X axis to go to side view and set table accordingly. Then go to edit mode. Press CTRL plus R to add loop cuts. One loop cut on front and back two loop cuts on sides. Then go to face selection or press 3 and select two faces from bottom sides of the table and click on X axis to go to side view. And press E then Z to extrude them on Z axis. You can do it manually by selecting extrude option. Then extrude them again a bit. Then press shift and select two inside faces. Press right click and click on bridge faces. Then press CTRL plus R to add the loop cuts. Add the loop cuts accordingly. Then go back to object mode, select the table and press CTRL plus A and apply scale. Then go back to edit mode. Then go to face selection or press 3. Then select these two faces and press I to insert faces. Then press E then X to extrude them inside. Then press I to insert faces again, then press E, then X to extrude out faces. Then add more loop cuts accordingly to make drawers. Then go to face selection and press shift and select these two faces and press I to insert faces. Then press, then X to extrude them in on X axis. Then press I to insert faces again, then press E, then X to extrude out faces. Then click on X axis to go to side view and place it on the floor. Then press shift plus right click to move cursor there and add cube and scale it down to make handles. 
Press Shift plus it to the cube and press S scale it down. Place it and scale it accordingly to make handles. Then press shift plus D to make a copy and add it on other side. Do this process for all other sides. Then select all handles and then the table and press CTRL plus P and click on keep transform to attach it to table. Then resize it a bit down and place it. Then press shift plus right click to add 3D cursor there. Then press shift plus R and add another cube. Then press S to scale it down. Then press G, then Z to move it up. Then press S, then Z to scale it down on Z axis. Then click on X axis and go to side view to place it. Then click on Z axis to go to top view and scale it on X axis. Then press tab to go to edit mode. Then press CTRL plus R to add loop cuts. Add all the loop cuts accordingly as shown in the video. Then go to the face selection, press shift and select all the bottom faces. After that, go to side view, press E, then Z to extrude it on Z axis. Then press shift and select the inside faces. Right click and click on bridge faces. Then press CTRL plus R to add loop cuts accordingly. After this, go to face selection or press 3 and press shift and select these faces. Then go back to object mode and press CTRL plus A and apply scale. Then go to edit mode and press I to insert faces there. Then press E, then Y to extrude them in on Y axis. 
Then press I to insert faces again and press E, then Y and extrude them out on Y axis. I mistakenly added handles in edit mode. Yo can do the same procedure to make handles that we did earlier. Press shift right click to move cursor there. Press shift R and add another cube. Press S to scale it down, then press G, then Z to move it up. On the Z axis, then press S, then Z to scale it up on Z axis. Then press S, then X to scale it up on X axis. Then go to front view and place it on the floor. Also set its position on other axis. Then press tab to go edit mode. Press CTRL plus R to add multiple loop cuts. Accordingly, Then press 3 to got face selection mode and press and hold shift at select front two faces. Then press I to insert faces. Then press E and Y to extrude them on Y axis. Then press shift and right click in the middle of the cupboard door and do the same procedure to add the handles. Then set up the positions accordingly. Okay, that's it for today video. Stay tuned for next part and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much.